the sun knows no borders. It plays no favorites. It shines on everyone, sometimes where and when it's needed most. Which brings us, indeed brought us, to Haiti. After the devastating earthquake of 2010, Solar World moved quickly, compassionately. Through Solar to World, a humanitarian initiative providing aid to off-grid and impoverished communities worldwide, we joined partners on the ground to address two critical needs, clean water and medical care. Working with Water Missions International, we donated enough panels to power 10 pumping stations. The sun comes to the solar panels, after to the controller. The name is air filter. The water comes to the, to the system. That water is, is potable, is 99%. Through these stations, we delivered clean water to over 175,000 earthquake victims and rushed in panels at cost to power another 25 water stations. In cut-off rural villages and overcrowded streets, they became the first line of defense against cholera and communicable disease. These efforts followed a solar world legacy here. Starting in 2009, we partnered with Solar Electric Light Fund, SELF, by donating panels for the Partners in Health Hospital in the remote village of Bukang Kare. With the earthquake came a heightened sense of urgency. In one of the largest philanthropic solar industry projects ever, we committed enough panels to solarize five more Partners in Health Hospitals in rural, isolated, at-risk areas. We are here in Las Cajobas, Haiti, installing a uh, solar electric system for the uh, Women's Health Center here run by Partners in Health out of Boston. Uh, the system is uh, comprised of 72 solar world, 230 watt uh, panels. This is, uh, I believe, the fourth or fifth hospital now that we're doing for Partners in Health. All told, that's over 100 kilowatts of dependable solar. Not only the cleanest, but also the least expensive source of energy in Haiti, to areas increasingly cut off from essential services. Given that you can't really do modern medicine without power, and that modern medicine is able to save lives, that brings us to solar power. As we've seen in Asia and Africa, when infrastructure collapses, solar alone can be an independent, self-sustaining lifeline to power. In fact, it's in places like Haiti, when business is the furthest thing from our minds, that we're most proud of the business we're in.